Hey y'all, this is Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting here in North Georgia. And tonight we're gonna make a clothespin nativity ornament. So things you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need a wooden star. This one actually came from a, a variety pack of wooden shapes from Walmart. Um, just had all kinds of things in it. And there's maybe about 10 stars in it. So that I've got those. Then I started out with three wooden ornaments and then my son just cut one of these off. Um, these are actually different wooden or, wooden clothespins actually. Um, just cut it off right where it starts to split and that's all you gotta do, sand it a little bit. A uh, couple pieces of, of uh, twine, I, did, I used one and I made a little bow and then the other one is gonna be my hanger. So, um, as far as like tools, I am going to use my hot glue gun. Um, I do have the one with the, the fine point and then I've got my handy dandy Dollar Tree, um, silicone finger here because I am going to, I don't want to burn my finger and, uh, it is, it is handy whenever you're trying to push, um, push things down, make sure they're in the glue. So let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, so I've got my little bow here, and I'm going to attach that to my baby. So this is going to be baby Jesus, and then Mary and Joseph. So having the fine tip glue gun is nice because it doesn't show. So I can put just a, a small amount. Um, and you might can do it with a regular glue gun, but I like my fine, fine one for this. So attach my, my little bow. And then I'm gonna attach Mary and Joseph together. So you can do them level or I actually, I'm gonna offset mine a little bit. So I'm gonna take Joseph here. He's gonna be taller. And I'm just gonna run hot glue down the side. And, ah! <gasps> oh no! That'll be the back, that's all right. Casey's over here freaking out. It's all right, we'll just turn that to the back. Look at that, no problem. Uh -huh. Nobody's going to notice on the back. We're actually going to be gluing our our string to the back anyways. All right, so there's Mary and Joseph. And then we're going to attach baby Jesus to the front, kind of like this. So I'm going to put some hot glue on the back of baby Jesus. Maybe I won't drop this one. At least I didn't get burnt. Could have been worse. Right. There we go. I think I'm going to trim that string a little bit. There we go. All right, now there it is, but we want to be able to hang it and then we want to put the star on it. So I've got, uh, this is about maybe a foot and I'm just going to tie a knot in it. Ooh. Make me a hanger, okay. And we'll turn this over. Nice thing about hot glue, it dries pretty fast. And then I want to glue this right down in the um, the crack here. And this is where my little silicone finger will come in handy. So when I'm holding it, I'm not going to get burned or when I'm pushing it down there. So just some glue there. Add this in. Okay. All right. So we're almost done. And you could leave it like this if you wanted to. But I like the idea of adding the star. And there's a couple of ways you could do it. Um, you could put it, you know, way down here behind their heads. You can put it up a little bit on the string. It's really, really up to you. But we're going to, I'm just going to glue it to the string. Um, if you wanted to, you could glue it actually to their, the back of their head. Um, but I'm going to glue it to the string. So, let's put some glue. And I kind of think about how I want it to lay. I want mine to lay like this. And then again, I'm gonna press my string down into my glue. In case you're bad luck. I'm just dropping things all over the place. I think I was bad luck whenever we were making my 4-H poster. <laughs> there we go. Despite dropping it, no harm, no foul. Look at that. Still good. And there it is. All natural. Um, you've got your, your wood pieces, your um, twine, and look how cute that is. Very quick. Um, do have to do a little bit of prep work in cutting off your, your clothespin, and that's it. Um, so I wanted to try painting it. I like the look of this, but I also thought, well, let's, you know, what if we did a little bit of color? 
And so I made another one and I used just the, the craft paint, the Apple Barrel craft paint from Walmart. Um, but I watered it down actually. I dipped my brush in water cause I didn't mm -hmm. want it to be real thick. So notice you can kind of, you can still see through. It's not a real thick coat. I left Jesus natural. Um, pick any two colors you wanted. And I used a different star on this. This is um, some of the laser cut pieces from the Dollar Tree. They do have a pack um, of stars. So there's six in it, six different or three different like designs um, and two of each design. So six of these for $1.25. So that's a good deal too. Um, just depending on what kind of look you want. And I also found some other stars at the Dollar Tree that was, oh, and I probably got 10 or 15 in a pack. Um, sorry, I don't know. I've already opened them and, and like filed them away in my, my little boxes. Um, but I got those two. But any of those would work. And clothes pins, um, I bought most of mine at the Dollar General when they had them on clearance. It was like 60 cents for 10 of them, I believe. Um, and then if you watched my fall break thrift store haul, I bought a box that had a lot of wooden item in, items in it. So I've got a lot of um, odd clothespins. And that's probably what I'm going to use for, for this project. But I hope you like this. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. See you later.